Hello everyone, I hope you find yourself having a great day. I've got another tutorial for you. This one is regarding Adobe After Effects CC and it's specifically going to address how to improve your camera tracking. Uh, even more specific, how to adjust your origin plane. So I've got After Effects open here and I've got footage which is some stabilized footage. I just went out in the backyard and shot a little bit and we're going to uh, place some markers here through camera stabilization or camera tracking and uh, add a, a solid object there and bring it into Cinema 4D. So let's get started. I'm going to go to my project and I'm going to import that footage and bring it into our scene and drop it into a new composition and this is rendered out in Cineform Intermediate Codec so even at full resolution you can play this very fluidly, very smoothly, um, much better than trying to edit with an uncompressed AVI or even a QuickTime um, animation file as far as that goes. So let's get started. We're going to right click on our footage and we're going to choose Track Camera. We're going to let it move through its process here, 772 frames. It'll go relatively quick. Again, if you'd like, you can fast forward through this to the point where tracking has completed. So we're about a quarter of the way finished. And uh, I formerly uh, am a Bujo user, and uh, it does extremely well tracking. But once I figured out some of the intricacies with the uh, After Effects camera tracker, um, I use it about half the time on simpler, less complex, complex projects. So we're just about to get there almost at 772 frames here. Just bear with me please. And what I'm going to show you is a neat discovery. It's built right in. It's often overlooked. I overlooked it for a while. Uh, scratched my head and was frustrated with it until I was able to put two and two together and it really did help streamline my workflow. Okay so we've got all of our tracker points and as we move our mouse around we'll see that uh, we get automated options to determine what would be our ground plane and the ground plane is important in regards to how you transfer this information to Cinema 4D. You want it so that the work surface in Cinema 4D lines up accurately with the ground plane that you've determined here in After Effects. So there's a wide variety um, of, of points that we can try to connect to and determine if we're level in regards to our work surface and this one looks pretty good right about here. So what I can do is I can move that around, select it and move it around, if I can get a hold of it. I can set a ground plane and origin. This is what's most critical. Once I've done that, um, I can right click on it again and do create solid and null. And see that by setting ground plane and origin, that's going to make this project when I export to Cinema 4D match up perfectly. And you can even, um, let me let me undo this, and what we'll do is we'll redo that, and to, you can get a test on, on your ground plane before you select it, like I've got one right here that looks suitable right there. I can, uh, at some point, if it'll cooperate with me, move that ground plane around. Let's try that one there. I can move it around and get an idea. of how it interacts with my surface with the uh, area that I'm going to call my ground plane to Cinema 40. And you can see that no matter where I move it, it's nice and um, flat. It's working out good for me. So at that point in time, rather than uh, initially selecting the default location where this symbolic uh, representation of the ground plane is, you can actually move it because it's going to become the origin as well. And let's say that the 3D model that I'm going to place in my Cinema 40 scene I don't really want it right here. Say I want it more over here. Actually, I move it to the position where I want it. And while I'm over it, right click it and say, set ground plane and origin. Okay, and you'll see that it's right on the uh, intersection of this concrete and these patio tiles. So keep that in mind. And at this point, I can right click it and do create solid and camera. And it's put a solid and a camera in there that sticks very nicely. So what I do at this point is file, export, Maxon Cinema 4D Exporter and I'll just call it from AE 
and at this point we'll just save that out and it's created a Cinema 4D file in our assets folder here. So I'm going to fire up Cinema 4D and once we're in Cinema 4D I'm going to open file open that from a AE file that uh, After Effects created for us and you see that it's put that ground plane this gridded work surface perfectly uh, is a perfect representation of our work environment and you can see that that plane sticks good there now because we've uh, manipulated that work surface that that uh, origin and ground plane when we drop the cube in it it's going to set right in there just flat it's going to uh, mesh up line up just perfectly with that um, ground plane that we've established and at this point when we track through this you'll see that that cube tracks really well and a good way to tell if you're tracking good is look at your object that you're tracking versus the grid and see if you have any uh, movement see if this thing wanders off of a grid and uh, we just move this about we'll see that we're stuck down just like it was nailed to the floor and so what's even better because we set that ground um, plane is we can move this anywhere we want in the scene and it's going to stick it's going to pay attention to our rules that we've established in regards to setting and establishing that ground plane and that applies to any other objects if we put another object in here stretch that guy up and out wherever we move anything move it over here even off of that origin it's still going to stick just as intended so keep that in mind for your next project remember uh, you can in After Effects establish your ground plane and you can move that ground plane and do that first before you set a um, camera and a, a solid object into your scene so remember hope that helps you guys remember if you want to see more videos like this in the future Comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.